Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a figure I was so excited to get. I was so happy when I saw this announced. I love this look from Miles. It's not my favorite look from Miles. I do still prefer his regular costume, but like this is like the first time we've gotten uh, a redesign of Miles that's like like stuck. You know, this is like. Peter always gets like redesigns, he, like every other issue, he has a new comic and they're all just kind of boring and lame. But very few times has he had like a, a, a costume that's like beloved, like the symbiote. Uh, I know it's not Peter, but the Ben Riley outfit, the 2099 outfit, those are all like, like when you think of Spider-Man, those are costumes that come into uh, your mind. This is Miles' first version of that. Like, he's had alternate versions of his costumes, but they've all just been, like, lame, kind of kind of slight variants, slight color variations, nothing too wow. And so having this costume in figure form, I'm so excited. I love this costume. Um, so I'm, I'm so happy to have it. So let's go into it, starting with the front of the package. This is the retro card package. I do love this packaging. They should just transition to this packaging entirely. Uh, they want to use less plastic, and I think this technically is less plastic. So, like, go with this. Even if you have to make it a little bit smaller, make this a little bit smaller. I think it would work perfectly. Those new, uh, those new WWE Elite packaging, I, I think that would work too. Um, but I don't think going just right back to the old style of windowed packaging works. I think you could change it up a bit if you wanted to. Uh, I don't think you have to just completely revert back to the old standard because I wasn't the biggest fan of the way those packaging, uh, those boxes looked. Anyways, um, I, I, I much prefer these. I think these look amazing. They are a little bit too big, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe shrink them down a smidge. Um, but th yeah, this is the, the retro packaging. That's my ultimate point here. So you have Miles on the side here and the comic art so you can see what he looks like there. It looks so pretty. One thing that's kind of interesting about this um, is it kind of, in a way, resembles the uh, Enter the Spider-Verse art. Like uh, the webbing here is very octagonal, kind of like the portals are in uh, Enter the Spider-Verse. Uh, and it also kind of has a similar uh, color scheme with the yellow and purple and all that it kind of in a way resembles that artwork not one-to-one -one, obviously I do have the uh, uh, Spider-Man 2099 and Gwen Stacy over there they're just a little bit out of reach otherwise I'd grab them but they are in a way similar and I think that's interesting I wonder if that was intentional um, I'd, I'd like to I'd like to ask somebody and know that for sure. But yeah, it looks beautiful. Uh, one thing I like about this is there's not too much to talk about because you can just flip it over. There you go. There's Peter one more time or Miles. Oh my God, <laughs> that's embarrassing. There's Miles one more time. Looking great. Here's a little bit of a bio if you want to read it. And then you're back to the front and we're done. So we can go ahead and get into the, the figure itself. All right, this is pretty much all you get. You don't get too, too much. Unfortunately, I wish we could have gotten like some web effects or some gizmos or gadgets or whatever but you only get two flipping hands so they look pretty good i do i love the color scheme of this uh this outfit i know it's red and black like miles but uh, i guess what i mean more is i love the the way it's applied like look at that that looks so pretty and then the red there oh my god it looks so good um <laughs> uh but yeah you don't get too much unfortunately just the 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 hands there so unfortunately it's a bit of a bummer, but the figure itself looks pretty amazing. So let's start with the head sculpt, which is, um, he has this weird mask thing that's going on with his sweater. It's kind of like it reaches up over to his mask and then it's tied off in the back right there. It looks cool. Uh, I just don't get it. I don't understand why he would wear this. He's already wearing a mask. So why put this on top of that? I guess I, I haven't read the comic, so I don't really know the, the reasoning behind this costume change. But I do like the way it looks. I just, I don't get the point behind it. Uh, maybe it's to make him look like he's wearing like a, a surgical mask for like, you know, like COVID. So he kind of, people read it and they're like, oh, that's what everyone looks like nowadays. Um, obviously that's not the case anymore, but you know, uh, I'm just trying to figure out the, the reasoning behind this little bit here. That's the only thing in this entire costume that I'm like, why? I don't get that. 
but it still looks good. I don't know why, it just looks good. It looks stylish, to be honest. And then you have the spider up here, which is raised, so you can feel it, and I love the look of it. The triangle-shaped spider. Oh my god, what a genius idea. Uh, so the sweater itself is baggy uh, and bulky, and I do like the way it looks, but unfortunately, it is thick and doesn't move too, too much. So as far as articulation goes, we'll go over it, but it's not the best. Uh, the line, oh, I didn't even see that one on the back. Ooh, pretty. I like that spider. I like that a lot. Uh, and then, of course, I don't know if I mentioned, but you have the tassel there where he ties it off. The lines, of course, follow all the way down into his fists, which looks awesome. I love the look of that. Uh, everything else is pretty plain, just black. And then you get to the webbing on his sides, which I already mentioned. They look amazing. I mean, look at that. It's kind of shiny, black and red. It looks so pretty. I think he has pockets right there, which is genius. Uh, and then the shoes look amazing. The shoes are so cool. It makes sense for Miles to wear shoes. Uh, he would probably be comfortable in this. Whereas Peter, he was just coming up with some type of look. Miles can take that look he came up with and just improve upon it. Shoes would be comfy. Um, so I, I like that. I like that idea, of course, the execution. Um, but yeah, let's, I guess, go over articulation here. Oh, and of course you have the sweater tassels there. Though wouldn't they be up there? I don't know. Um, I don't mind them being down there, I guess. Uh, articulation wise, uh, nothing incredible here. You can look up, not very much. You can look down decently enough. Swivel side to side, it's on one of those balls and then the neck piece is also on a ball. So it, it, it tries to do something with what it has, but it doesn't do too much uh the arms can come up to about right there that's actually a lot that's significant rotates all the way around no swivel there of course uh single jointed arms but they can go up pretty high i guess that's decent enough the wrists can go in they can go out they can spin all the way around like so of course the head can spin all the way around too in case you didn't catch that uh ab crunch well <laughs> that's about it you don't get too much with this guy um that's the only unfortunate thing about this figure is the sweater really hinders a lot of mobility you can go side to side and you can swivel of course i really want to know what it looks like underneath but i don't want to break the figure uh it looks like it's just a regular old costume up there just not painted of course i can't get good enough lighting to like look up in there um but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just regular articulation in there. Maybe I can try heating up, uh, heating up the arms and popping them off, popping off the head and maybe, no, because yeah, somewhere right here, it transitions into the actual uh, costume. So yeah, that, that wouldn't work for me. Let me pop this off real quick, just to get a look. Okay. Well, you know what? No, yeah. I don't think he could. Um, so yeah, unless somebody wanted to cut off this bit of the figure that they own, which I don't, but you know, I really wanna see what it looks like under there. Anyways, uh, so the legs can do a split like so. Uh, skinny legs, so they do bend, so be careful about that. Swivel at the thigh, rotates all the way around. Very ratchety, kinda, I don't know, that's interesting. Um, double jointed knees, pinless of course, they can go all the way up, kicking his own ass. Swivel here at the shoe, I love the location of that swivel, looks great, spins all the way around. Ankle can go down, it can go up, and I think, yes, swivel, like so, all the way around like that, and there we go. Uh, am I missing anything? Uh, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh. Nope, I think that's it. So yeah, that is Miles. He looks insane. I love this look from Miles. Wish we had some like web effects. He poses. Despite the fact that he can't articulate well, he poses really well. So like he's doing like a flying kick. If you had some webbing, you could really, really make this look amazing, you know? Uh, I love the look of it. So that's about it for this figure. Let me know what you think of him down in the comments below. If you've seen what he looks like without the sweater on, I, I guess send that to me. Link it in the comments. I don't know if YouTube will mark that as spam or whatnot. I don't know. 
how that works anymore, but you know, just like inform me because I, I really want to see. I want to see if any other YouTuber maybe opened him up just to see. Um, I, I don't want to ruin him though because he was hard to find. I found him out in the wild in a in a thousand miles away from home. So if I find him in, in my home, maybe I'll pick him up and do that. But you know, I don't want to do that to this guy because he's so perfect and I don't want to break him. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. All the things YouTubers ask you to do, just do it for me as well. And I will be back with another video, hopefully very, very soon. Mm, bye.